How's it going, Rack viewers? Grim Getty right back into another Legends of the West video, and our winner this week is DK Chin yet again. And their request that we tackle Wyatt Dirt from Tombstone this time in online, as I have done this in single player. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually both very happy with how this turned out and kind of sad because some things just uh, didn't quite fit. But that all said, let me go ahead and throw what I designed at you real quick by going to Ye Oldie Wardrobe and breaking down the outfit piece by piece, shall we? Starting off, as always, with the hat. Which, honestly, the Roboro hat, which we recently got from an outlaw pass, is about as close as we're going to get for, for his hat. Really, the only thing this is missing is uh, the hat Wyatt Earp wears throughout a great deal of the movie has a more domed crown to it versus this, which has a flat top. But other than that, it's pretty much dead on. Now, if you don't happen to have that particular hat, there's a couple of options here and there. The stride hat, if you get really desperate. Did I really just equip that? Why did I just equip that? God damn it. But yes, the, <laughs> the stride hat is an option. The drifter hat does come in really nice, clean black. I'm not going to lie. I, I actually really like this. And, you know, if you're just that guy, you know, the classic stalker hat, because it's the classic stalker hat, and it does come in the actual shade and the brim, and a bit of the crown actually does match up pretty damn nicely. But, uh, yeah, once again, if you just so happen to have the row barrel hat... Oh my god, how freaking many hats do I have? Dear sweet Christ. So many hats! Almost like I freaking designed a YouTube channel around this stuff. There it is. Yeah, if you happen to have the Robero hat, throw that on. Because frankly, I, I feel like this fits the part a little bit more than <laughs> any other option. Moving on. No headbands with this outfit. No eyewear. No mask. No bandanas. We are going to throw on some neckwear with the shirt we're going to choose. And that neckwear is going to be the black puff tie. Mostly because every time I see this, I swear to God, it's... Either the neat string tie, but that doesn't seem like it's big enough personally. The tech scarf I do like, but doesn't quite seem to fit the overall look. So to me, it the puff tie seems to just scream it suits the outfit. Moving on to coats. There's a couple of options here and there. Honestly, anything that's finer and black and long as all hell will definitely be what you want to go with here. I am not going to lie to Dave and Tree coat here i had a lot of trouble not actually selecting for the simple fact it does come with those nice little chains in the front of it which i mean kind of works for a pocket watch chain i mean that's basically what it is isn't it but ultimately decided against that that's that if you have this and want to rock it no one's gonna blame you that all said oh, nope not the morning tail coat that's right i that's my own personal thing that no one else has if you don't mind the fact that it has a leather look to it, the Marshall coat is also an option. I personally vouch for the shotgun coat, while it does come in just like a kind of slightly darker shade of gray rather than black. I, it is damn near the appropriate length we want. It's a little short, but it does suit and fit the bill very nicely. It's a finer jacket and it fits fairly snugly. And, you know, there's always a classic frock coat, which, again, kind of mixes the issues there. It does come in black. It does fit the look. It just uh, it's a little off here and there. It, yeah. Personally, it bothers me, but, again, options. I believe that's it. What? No, there was another one on my list. I think it was the black, the clean black duster coat, if you don't mind just it looking a little shabbier than the rest of the outfit. Moving on, though. No ponchos with this outfit. For vests, I wanted to go with something clean and fancy looking. I'm not going to lie, the double-breasted lapel vest was a really nice option. The Richfield vest is also a nice and very clean, just flat black option, which I do recommend. The Lancer vest, if you, again, don't mind the leather look, does come in a nice clean black version as well, which could suit your interests. I think that's all for my optional ideas I originally had for this outfit. Yes, it is. But ultimately, I personally went with the Paisley vest, which does come... It, I love this too, because the icon for it says that it's basically a textureless, just silk black, but you can clearly see the textures are still there. 
I mean, that said, it is still a very nice looking vest, which I do recommend for that reason alone. Moving on to shirts, there is a white French dress shirt available in one of the outfits. Which outfit? I frankly can't remember for the life of me. I'm pretty sure someone mentioned it into a, in a comment on one of my videos long ago, and for the life of me, I cannot remember where the devil it's from. If you have it, by all means throw it on. It's exactly what we want. That said, if you don't, well, I'm not mistaken, we do have another version of the French dress shirt. It's just going to look a little funkier. Mostly because while it does come in a shade of white here and there, they have interesting design choices to them. It's not just a flat white color. But if this is what you can find and all you can find, hey, by all means throw it on. You're going to be wearing a vest over it anyway, so no one's really going to tell. Moving on, no suspenders outfit because honestly we're not even going to see them. No gauntlets, no gloves, no rings, no belts, buckles and wet equipment. Honestly, completely dealer's choice. Finally, pants. And what other pants are we going to throw on this man other than the nice, clean, crisp tuxedo pants in black? Oh, I do own this in other colors. Why do I own this in like seven colors? Weird. But yes, black tuxedo pants. No nightgowns, no overalls, no chaps. And finally, for boots, I'm, I'm not going to lie, this is always the part of the outfit I kind of just throw to the wind because more often than not I can't find a clear screenshot video clip or anything that shows the boots that said this one in particular was a little bit easier because there's that classic scene where they're just walking down the street approaching the okay corral I think it's the okay corral I could be wrong it's been a while since I've seen the movie and <laughs> remember this stuff you do actually do see he's wearing a kind of pointed upturned toe of a boot that's again clean crisp like everything else so naturally, I just recommend the worn roper boots because that's that just works. And finally, for the particular scene, I'm kind of ripping this entire outfit for again, that stride towards the <laughs> soon to be ensuing gunfight. No spurs. And that's it. Again, I'm happy and a little disappointed with how this outfit turned out. Like that gray coat really kind of throws it off for me, and it, I'm not going to lie, that does bother me. That all said, though, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support, as always, is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and, of course, sharing it with your friends. And, you know, checking down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own request in the comments, where you might be next week's winner. As well as other ways that you, if you feel so entitled to, or feel like you just want to, fantastic ways to support the channel, from Patreon, memberships, and God knows what else. By all means, give it all a look over. That all said, once again, thank you all for watching, and as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, the lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we will catch you all in the next video. See you then.